Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw. Okay, so it's another shot. It's within, I'm assuming, Hong Kong. It could be China. Uh, the characters look like traditional Chinese characters. It's a very Hong Kong scene. You have two older, not older, but like guys in their 30s plus at the bottom right walking in silhouette. And you see reflection uh, on the top of a hood, the hood of a car. Mm -hmm. The guys are walking under scaffolding, which if you've never been to Asia, you just think scaffold. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I know what scaffold is. But in Asia, scaffold is made out of bamboo because yep. that's the, the cheap stuff that people can use. And it's everywhere. And it's uh, so the scaffolding is just this bamboo stuff that they're, they've, they're put against the, these like shops. It looks like a, sh a money change shop. And then there's another other. I don't know what the other shops are. The, the image has a lot of yellow and a lot of red. It's at night. It's very moody. It's very somber. It's very, uh, but it's very warm because you, you really know where you, you use color in such a popping way. Uh, and you see the, the, so on the one hand, you have the scaffold, which is all like vertical and horizontal lines in, in kind of reflected red and orange. But the signs are also in red and orange and a bit of white. But because they're the traditional ca Chinese characters, they're also boxy and, and, and the font is very kind of like sharp lines of vertical and, and horizontal. So uh, it's mostly in focus and it's, it's quite great. It's called the money shot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, it's, it's fun to hear you. I was just looking at it a little bit myself. It's fun to hear you describe it. Because what I realize actually from talking to you is how little I hear people talk about my work outside of I like it or don't like it or, you know, the little Instagram sound bites of that's uh, awesome, right, awesome, right, right. amazing, brilliant. Yeah, but no deconstruction. No, nothing. So the bamboo scaffolding agree with you and, you know, most people would just dismiss that or disregard it. It's such an what? integral, it, but I think it's it, in, in Asia, it's such an integral element yeah. visually. And I, I think a lot of what I do in, in my color and night photography is I'm showcasing iconic elements of the urban landscape of the cityscape uh -huh. of you uh -huh. know, whatever you want to call that. So in, in this, as, as you pointed out, now I'm just going to repeat what you said and waste anybody's <laughs> time, but it's, you know, it's, it's the bamboo, it's the Chinese characters. It's, it's the neon, not all of it's neon, some of it's led, but it's yeah. you know, whatever. I'll, I'll, we'll say neon cause it's easier to grab onto. Good point. Good point. And then the people are, as they are most of the time in my work, they're abstractions. Yeah you can only guess at their identities, you know, it was quite interesting for you to say, you know, in their thirties. I mean, how do you know? You don't no, know. No, no, I was saying more than, I mean, adults. So I meant, it was yeah, adults. but, but, but that's interesting because you, you could, you have to guess at it based yeah. on what you see. Yeah. Most of the time, unless I'm doing an obvious portrait shoot, people in my images are, they're going to be silhouettes. They're going to be shadows. They're going to be blurred abstractions of some sort. And that's because the identities aren't important to me. Right. What's actually important to me is the context. Yeah. The environment, the surroundings, the structure, right? For me, the big thing is how are people interacting with the structure of a city or of a place? Yeah. And so okay. you, you've got all this stuff, right? The buildings, the neon, the bamboo, the cars, and then, you know, the effects of those, like the reflections and, and, you know, abstractions. And I'm not the least bit interested in, in who those people are. Right. And right. that's why I, I've presented them as you see them unidentifiable, anonymous. How, how do people, come and go in a city, those fleeting moments where they collide with the, the ur urbanness around them and then they're gone. 
that's inter- that's it that's interesting to me it's it's poetic it's whether it's happy or sad i don't know but it's it is what it is right okay well okay so let's just to bring it back a little bit where you said uh you know give the elevator pitch right so like for for the podcast shooting it raw is a basically born out of photography and the premise is if life really is a gift how do we make every second count and what i do is i talk to people to say okay look you have this one life we you know one second after the next after the next and you make choices about how you're going to spend them and in your case which I find fascinating because it's true. Like just like when I think about all your photographs, like, first of all, in your case, you were drawn to making photographs, but I don't think of you as like a landscape photographer. You know, it's not like you make these beautiful uh, landscape. Maybe you do, but I haven't seen beautiful landscapes. Uh, I do not. Yeah, exactly. I don't get that <laughs> feeling at all. Yeah. But you really do use color and abstraction and, it's an interesting commentary on people because for example, these two guys walking at night, you call it the money shot. And I'm like, is there a sex shop around where they are? I have no idea, but, um, <laughs> well, could be. well, there, there, there probably is. If it's in Mong Kok. Yeah, there, there probably is. I mean, the money shot is more of, that was just a quick, it's, it's the dollar sign with the exchange bureau. Yeah. I, I did think I, w- I was quite happy with the outcome of that shot. Everything uh-huh. came together quite nicely. Okay. Got it. Nailed it. Money shot, you know, again with the, you know, the currency exchange reference and, and all the graphics. And, Is it selling and, well? Um, not particularly. <laughs> I no, ask. I mean, great question. <laughs> I, I, I have sold a few. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? Awesome. Which is great. But yeah, I mean, you would think calling it the money shot would be an instant you know, I'd, I'd sell it out. Somehow it doesn't work that way. You should uh, really promote it during uh, Chinese New Year. Yes, you're right. Um, or, or maybe I should rename it. <laughs> Retitle it. Yeah, call it Kung Hei Fa Choi. Yeah, to um, In Search of a Sex Shop, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, bad idea. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> no, just, it's, it's, it, you know, it's, it, it's interesting... For me, because the, again, hearing how how you describe my work and use of color, and I, one criticism I've heard of my work is that it's not personal enough. There, there, I, I need to introduce more of my of my personality into it, or I need to I need to have more of a story that goes into the creation of my images. Well, you know, you just spent an hour with me. And, and it, you know, at some point down the line, maybe you and I will meet up again and we'll have a beer, whether that's in Canada, US, Singapore, Hong Kong, who knows. And I would be interested to hear what you really think about my story, because I think I put a tremendous amount of myself into everything that I do, into my shooting, into the mentoring work that I do with my clients. But I, I don't think I need to have lived on a park bench in, you know, in Moscow in the middle of winter for three months in order to validate what I do. Okay. So I, you know, what, what's my story really versus a narrative that I could create to make my work a little bit more interesting or sellable. That that's, those are two different things. Those are two different things. I think they are two different things. Um, Mike, Michael, Jennifer, what should I call you? Uh, Zoe, uh, Michael's Zoe, fine. okay. So, Mike, okay. <laughs> so, like, the thing is, it's it's really interesting to me because you're part of what you're doing in being uh, a mentor is you're you're sitting with people and you're saying, okay, look, you know, you're you're are you going to do this? Are you going to be a photographer? Are you going to really going to commit to it? So now, right. this is how like how are you going to spend your time? So, uh, the podcast is about inspiring people to really appreciate how life is a gift and we can make every second count. Uh, and, and what's interesting about phot- photographs is that photographs are mostly measured in fractions of a second. That's right. So I'll, I'll give you the mic 
first of all, promote your your website so people can go uh, check it out, and then explain like what is the 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 um, this deep satisfaction at, at a deeper level of committing to making photographs in the way that you do. Um, well, I'll, I'll start with the the second bit, which I guess it's the only thing that really makes sense to me. So as, as I said at the beginning, I think it's, I, I've been lucky enough to be at an intersection of doing what I love and I'm good at and also being able to make a living doing that. And there is nothing more satisfying to me if we distill all of this down into the act of taking a photograph. I, I like how you described it time-wise. I mean, it's fractions of seconds. And it's e- even in those fractions of seconds, what you're doing when you're when you're taking or making a photo, which is also a really interesting conversation, taking versus making, uh-huh. is you're, you're absorbed in that moment, which is actually a lot briefer than a moment. Right. We call them moments. So you, you saying that makes me think, yeah, it's, they're not really moments at all. They're much smaller than that. But you're absorbed in it. And in this day and age with all of – with, with, with life, with distractions, with social media, with coming out, out of a, you know, a three-year pandemic and, and time just kind of warping on all of us. What I love about photography and the act of shooting, when I'm in that moment, again, I'll just say for lack of a better term, is mm-hmm. I'm in it. I'm not in the past. I'm not in the future. I'm in the present and I'm making that second count. So you talking about making every second count, I surely don't make every second count, but those seconds do count and they, they mean something. And that's probably, if anybody had a takeaway, it's the value of photography in that sense for getting you into moments, whether you're trying to record them, okay, or preserve a memory or, or create a piece of art, that, that doesn't matter, but you're in that at the time. Michael, Michael Kissler, awesome, awesome, awesome. That's great. Thank you so much. So, um, thank you. I want everybody to check out your website. It's in the show notes, just so that they can see really the. I I'd, I'd love for people to listen to this and have a picture in their heads of what you look like and of what the work is like or whatever, and then to look at it and then go, oh, because it's so good. Thank you. So good. Thank you. Appreciate it. It was fun. It was, that that was an enjoyable hour. For sure. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Every second of it for me was great. Thank you. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Okay. Have a good morning and I'll have a good night. Talk to you soon, I hope. So is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So if you like what you've seen and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please give it a like, subscribe, and share. Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw.